there, you majestic sausages. You, it is I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, for you guys and the viewer verse, I'm playing Elden Ring, and I'm going to show you where to get this fandangly sword. It's called the Sword of Night and Flame, and it's got two abilities. One is that channeling of magical energy in a straight line, and an AOE fire effect damage. And you can do those just by holding down L2 and then pressing L1 or R2, depending on which skill you want. R1 for the blast, the blue blast, or R2 for the fire damage. Pretty darn freaking sweet. And this can be obtained pretty early in game. Over to the left hand swave of the map, round around here, the Lonier of Lakes. So yeah, you can ride here without killing any bosses. There's ways through. And uh, if you just head on this way, up to these sort of ruins, it looks like it's a dead end. There's a big back wall, but as you know, Walls aren't always walls in this game. At the moment, you can see here, it's just a giant archway as I get to it, just over this next sort of hillock, right? But yeah, if you hit it with your sword, hit this archway with a sword, because you'd have brick there. The brick vanishes. There's a waypoint right behind it, which you can hit up, you know, the points of grace. And to the left is a giant, great big blacksmith. Look at him, just sitting there. Yeah, and he sells sombering smithing stones. One, two, three, and four. He's only got a limited amount of three and four, but unlimited one and two. So a great place to buy your sombering smithing stones rather than going into dungeons. So keep that in mind as well. Now you've got to head up to this castle up here. Now I would strongly suggest taking your horse. And as you get these beams of light appear in front of you, just go left or right away from them. Yeah, and just sort of just keep meandering around and it, they should miss you i mean i get clipped by a couple they don't do a great swathe of damage i don't think they're going to one hit you unless you've just come straight out the freaking birthing chamber you know so just carry on just carry on up up to here and there's another waypoint another point of grace right on the stairs and you're going to need this one definitely hit this one up because although this little courtyard looks so majestically awesome and it looks like a walk in the park it really freaking isn't there's these hand creatures in here they're like little spiders oh they make my skin crawl and then yeah there's big ones as well and they burst out the ground and they grab you and nibble you and kill you anyway the sword that we're after is in this little hut just there now you can see that there's sort of like a little l shape in there um, that's an actual high raised wall. We're going to walk around those. But before we go up to that little plinth, I would strongly suggest hitting up another point of grace because it's going to help you later on. So I'm going to do that quickly. So here we go. Let's leg it. Leg it through the courtyard. Do not look back. You do not want to look back. There's some big freaking spider hands basically and they're right behind me right now. Right freaking behind me. And uh, yeah, look, there's, there's some. Whoa, fudging. Whoa, you. you freaking no just no just freaking run like the bloody wind okay if you see your stamina's going down do a couple of rolls or something but just let your bar build back up or, or whatever and uh, i'm gonna wait for it to build all the way up just here because there's another big one there it is yeah no right now he's gonna try and zap you with this purple beam if it hits you with that you sort of get webbed and you're like me i can't move and it comes up and it grabs you and eats you and gets you and, you know yeah so just run just freaking run and here's another point of grace just here so we're going to hit this one up but you know i said that there's one other that i would strongly suggest that you hit up we're just going to hit that one up very very quickly and then we'll come back down again okay so this is where that l shape is and this is where you're going across all the castle trellises at the top here it can be a bit of a rabbit warren but not too much if you've memorized in your head what the map looks like so really what we want to do is go um <clears throat> we want to go sort of left here then right and then jump down onto the roof i'm not going to do that straight away i'm going to go straight i'm going to go all the way straight and i'm going to go up those stairs up a lift and uh, there's another point of grace there that we can hit uh, yeah so i've sped this up you can see here just leg it up the stairs there's guys with crossbows just do a couple of roly polies as and when they loose the bolt if you've got your volume high enough you're going to hear that happen so you can just roll okay and now just head all the way back down to where we just were and this time we're going to hanker right and we're going to go up here and we're going to go right again and then hopefully we're going to be at the point that we can jump down onto the roofs of buildings this isn't that the first jump down isn't the actual building in question we have to jump down one more and then we're there Okay, so here we go, jump on down, lovely, awesome, and uh, yeah, we're just going to jump down once more, and you're going to see a little ladder. Be careful you don't jump straight into the hole, because you're going to die. So try and land next to it, get on the ladder, descend down into the, into the hole, and there's your chair. 
And within will be your Sword of Night and Flame. I've already got it, so it's not there for me, but I just wanted to show you where I found this awesome freaking blade of awesomeness with these awesome D spells. So here you go, I'm going to shoot you in the face with one of the awesome spells. There's also a door there that opens from this side, so yeah, hit that up, takes you back out into the courtyard. Cheery bye! Thank ya! Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.